this man handled the bandit up into here and the VFR is to be uh, just giving a wash, it's ready to put its MOT everything's done on it uh, two bar break apart I didn't take it apart but I took it off the disc popped the pistons out to the gum line cleaned it all up, put it back together seems to be fine, needs a right good run I'm going to wash it before I take it to the MOT station but it needed bulbs um, Basically about it. it. needs a new chain and the boy gave me some money for a chain. Uh, so I'm happy. I'll get a chain next uh, next week or weekend or whenever. I've actually got to take the exhaust off the bandit because it's not, as you can see there, it isn't sealing there. So that clamp's completely useless. It's, it's a had it that clamp. Uh, so I'm going to take the, the down pipes off because that uh, collector where it meets at the, the link pipe is oval so I'm never going to get the new gasket in where's the new gasket? I've got a new gasket and I've got two clamps just in case I miss one of them I've got a new gasket and I want that to fit exactly before um, I put it back on the bike so I'm taking the whole exhaust off so that's the exhaust off completely um, all of it and you can see what I mean by uh, putting the wrong link pipe on because the wrong link pipes have been um, smaller it's, it's oval this that, that gasket will never I don't even want to touch the gasket the first thing I've got to do is clean all this uh, so I've got to try and get this round to 60mm inside because that's how big the gasket is get it to 60mm and then uh, get the gasket in there and let the clamp do the tightening and try and force the gasket in you know let the clamp clamp it down and I'll just get on with that right focused yeah we're focused so it's not perfectly round but I'll try and offer up the link pipe and see what happens it'll be no bother it's going in there it clipped that edge first so I've got to be kind of gentle um, if I gently just wiggle it in gently and then let the clamp do the work a brand new clamp on there so it should be fine. Um, just uh, get it back just on Just a little side point, I use stainless bolts with copper slip. And yes, they do come loose. You have to tighten them up periodically. But I would never have been able to get these out. I would have to take them to an engineer or... You know, I had a hassle, a big hassle getting these bolts out. Because I use stainless and the copper slip, just came straight out, no bother. Another helpful thing to do is put a bit of tape on uh, after these so they don't fall back because they're a pain. You try you need about five pairs of hands, so put a bit of tape on so they fall. So I've got it all as tight as I want it. There's no movement there at all, but I want to see if it's gas tight. Um, actually I should give it a clean first, give it a wipe, get all my fingerprints off it. The thing is there should be a little spacer here because it's kind of pulling it up. Uh, this should be sitting completely flat. You know, that was sorry, that bit there should be sitting completely, but I'm pulling it up. So there's a gap here, whether the, I mean I can just keep tightening down until it stops uh, leaking. That would be fine, but there is a little spacer that comes from Black Widow which I forgot, I just got home there's nothing I can do, I can just, I just have to tighten it I'd rather not have the spacer, it looks better without it I'll see how I get on, if I can get it gas tight it looks ok, it looks a lot better than what it was and I'll be happy, I'll just start the bike totally sealed, but no gas leaks whatsoever let's fire it up oh, it's a bit 